ISTQB Foundation Level Question 18. Which of the following statements is a valid test objective? A. Verifying that a test object complies with contractual, legal, and regulatory requirements. B. Prove that the system has no errors. C. Provide advice to stakeholders on improving the quality of products and processes. D. Make decisions about the release in the absence of the manager. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is A. Verifying that a test object complies with contractual, legal and regulatory requirements according to ISTQB syllabus. We will see the exact quotes of this in the last section of this video. Let's see why the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is wrong because this answer Contradictions to test principles 1 and 7. The first principle is Testing shows the presence, not the absence of defects. The seventh principle is absence of defects fallacy. We can never prove that all defects were identified. And of course, this statement doesn't rely to test objective. Notice. Avoid answer with proof world. Answer C is wrong because quality assurance engineer can provide advice to stakeholders on improving the quality of products and process. But this statement doesn't rely to test objective. Answer D is wrong because quality assurance engineer can provide expert conclusion about quality of product, but the final decision remains with the management or stakeholders. This statement contradicts test objective. Providing information to stakeholders to allow them to make informed decisions. I think this question is quite difficult as some of the answers are highly close to the exact definitions. Be very attentively with such kinds of questions. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.1.1 test objectives in the ICQB syllabus, where we can see that the sixth Point is verifying that a test object complies with contractual, legal, and regulatory requirements. This is fully consistent with the correct answer A. My recommendation figure out this all nine test objective statements and you pass the foundation level exam. Never give up.